can do this, I can do this. Here it goes. Alright, alright, welcome back. Welcome back to the MS Logan Bird playing. Uh, what is that? Infernal noise. What? You guys heard that? Anyways, anyways, uh, yes, welcome back. Welcome back to the MS Logan Bird playing Greedfall. Yes, yes. We are headed to find some medicine to alleviate my cousin's pain. Yes, the, the dreaded medical. We need to find some, some medicine. Siora here will help us. Yes. We're continuing here where we left off previously. Let's continue. We are headed. We are headed. Over there. There, yes. Ooh, hold! Up. Now that is a fancy saber that I could upgrade as well. That blade has served you well. Time for an upgrade. Thank you for your service. The saber suits you well. Let's see. The rest is like uh... what, do I, what do I have? I'm gonna sell some stuff. See you guys later. Kurt. Yes. Eh? This is better. When that? I bought this for you. Less agility. Here's a legendary weapon and the one he has is like, well, I don't need that. I already have a pretty good blade. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Well, okay. Um, Kurt. Green blood, my friend. You want us to say Glad something? Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. Yeah, okay. I'm listening. Sure. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Oh, yeah. Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. Well, um... Sure. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Rainer and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it and I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. I don't actually if Petrus care. were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That old fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that could make someone disappear in broad daylight, without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Exactly. 
It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius, but it's worth a try. What? You're right. And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. But if anyone deserves it, it's that bastard Herman. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't care about the reputational loss with Teleme. I don't... I don't care. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. Speak. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Can we talk more about this later? I don't have time for it right now. Of course, my child. Why did you come to see me? I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. Uh, I guess we do that late after Kurtz. Yes, Kurtz quests. Kurtz, Kurtz quest takes precedence. Let's see, where to, where to, dead ahead. There's some enemies there, but eh. Where to, ah yes. They turned me away twice here. But with Ciara by my side, I'm not sure they will let us in. I need some medicine for my cousin. Get out! How Who do dare you! Think you? you are to defoil our ritual. One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tian. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is an Almanawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. Mark my name my is face. Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Donegad as well? It is true, but my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. Then... How can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness. The Malachor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy but urgently need to relieve his pain. Yes. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenland started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, 
and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Ah, mm. But I can't take Kurt out of my party. Talk to the hunter. Alright. Good day. Are you the master hunter? Bear tear to mother and I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Denegad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. Mm. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived, but the attacks happen more and more often, and they come with greater fury. I tried to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come, and now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Uh, I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one, or else they will build again. We see them, especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. 
We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village, and that we serve them as if they were Tierk. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand. But the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village. Oh, that place. And they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight? No. But some have fought. Because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village. And the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. Mm. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. But I don't know how to repair things. What is present? That medallion thing. Uh, I mean, I have one crafting with um, Kurt's relationship bonus. What is this? Oh! Craftsmanship 1? Yes? Here yeah, is your weapon. Yeah, yeah, yes. It has been made new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaixe, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great Tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaix, eh? But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. 
nothing more. I must be going. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. There's a find a way to destroy the tunnel's mist. Uh, yeah. I can do that. I have two alchemy. Good day. I have been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No, no, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. Mm, yes. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. Well, what do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman. The one who's also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now, they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Yeah, very well. Yeah. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they built a nest nearby. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now. Hmm. Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I have been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. 
The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy. But he is wild off the tether. And often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where? And under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. I must be leaving. I'm not gonna take Petrus with me. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go, go there, demand answers, and if they give me trouble, well, that's not gonna end well for them. Given the presence of the tenons in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. Yes. Let's prepare. Unlimited power. There's nothing that can stop me. I should come back later. All right. It is dawn, the ideal moment. I must kill the dominant one before destroying the nest. Whoa! Take them out. They are a threat to the villagers. Come to me. Is there uh, find the missing villagers? 
find and destroy the mess. Okay, okay. Let's also talk to the missionaries. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Wait, isn't this the place? Ooh, it is the place. I can take revenge. The only man that came close to killing me. I will have my vengeance. I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out those high-level bandits. After that, I don't think there's anything that comes to even close to defeating me. Uh, do we have a nest over there? There's no other quest. There's no marker. Ignoring those. I don't think there's any reason. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's any reason for me to go out of my way to kill all of these. Beasts. Oh, low level bandits, right? You don't belong to those. What's up there? There you go. There you Get him, Ken. Get him. I don't want to use too many of my potions if I don't need to. It's gonna add more, more of that shield to my companions. The moment of truth. I should be strong enough. I don't have this, but I don't think I need it. The shield is on. I have 50% elemental resistance, 35 to magic. No poison resistance. I can do this, I can do this. Here it goes.
I thought you could defeat me. It was probably you that st struck me. Well, it's over for you, mate. Thought you could defeat me. Spit. There might be some legendary gear around here. Hmm. That was tense. That was tense. Him aiming at me like, no, 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 no! Don't hit that shot. Oh. Treasure. Surely. Surely. There is. Incredible treasure around here. Oh, yes, yes, legendary. Light flame merge. Zero. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, straight saber. You want a new blade? <laughs> alright, alright. The stuff we can find from shops is uh, better than, you know, the legendaries. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's just continue. Oh, right, right, right. Those missionaries. I'm gonna have a little stern talk with them. Coming through. Don't have time for you. Coming through. <laughs> Here we are. Ah, uh, no, we don't need Petrus for this. Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome amongst. What do you want to know? Let's see. Could you tell me what your mission here is? What is going on with we that woman behind us? We must return these lost <laughs> souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Right. Have you heard about the Tenlan attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks? On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. Mm. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlands is somehow linked to the demons on the isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Denegar of this village wishes for you to depart. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling.
Wait one moment. Oh. I must go. One one moment. We're going to need to find some leverage if we want to force these missionaries to leave. Perhaps searching through their belongings will give us something we can use to put pressure on them. Uh, no. I just wanted to make sure we had fuel. I just, I'm just gonna ask them again. One more thing. Yes. Leave now, or you won't be leaving at all. Cause you'll all be dead. I. Am I making myself clear here? Pack your shit and go. Or you know, <clears throat> your little. Friends will have to carry you out in body bags. The Denegar of this village wishes for you to depart. And you expect to leave with no. Mm. I must go. Well, I, I wish that could have provoked her. Somehow. Uh, let me kill them, please. Please, I want. I want. Murder. Excellent. They do not suspect a thing. What do we have here? Uh, our mission is taking much longer than anticipated. These poor savages cling to their childish, childish uh, beliefs and refuse to see the light that could save their souls. We must show the greatest patience to convince them one by one. Alas, the unexpected reluctance is uh, waning on the morale of my colleagues, and I, su and I surprised one of them as. He was forcing himself on one of these children. Oh, oh no. Monsters. He seemed full of remorse and he so assured me that he would uh, not do it again. But I was, but I am convinced that he is not the only one who sinned. And this, uh, um, hold up. And that, it was not the first time such thing, such a thing happened. For fools, now I must do everything in my power to ensure that their deeds remain secret. If our order or Mother Cardinal ever finds or learns of them, we will all be sent back to the continent. Oh, we'll be sent back to the continent. Hmm. Or even sentenced. Sentenced, yes. How can these so called religious men dare to abuse these young people? I thought that the word of the enlightened was very clear on this subject. They do not see us as fellow humans, so they think they can do anything they want to us. Damn them. That is the last straw. You, you're all going to die. One more thing. Yes? I found a document in your belongings. The content is quite enlightening. Your missionaries have forgotten the divine teachings. You're all rapists. Are not all forms of abuse against your religious commitments? A few missionaries like did stray from the path. This is true. But our mission is too vital to let their zealous natures dissuade us. You should have never read that. To my house! And death to the earth! You shall die by my own hand. Got him! Stop! We lay down our weapons. Oh, uh, now leave the region and do not return. We shall not forget the manner in which you have treated us. But you shall not see us here again. Good. Good. Delay me. <laughs> Get out of here. She was, um... Strong. X. I uh, was surprised. Actually, got hurt a little bit. Got a little nervous. 
Like, oh, 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 oh I've lost health. Please. We started panicking. Like, shortcuts. Where was the health potions at? Oh, shit. Alright. Respect, you know. Alright. And she, you know, was able to hurt me. Uh, there's not many that can do that. Oh, man. Oh, mmm. An hour has already gone by here. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Oh man! Ah, the time flies. It goes by so fast. It's like, uh, oh, but maybe uh, we spent a lot of time speaking to those natives. That took a lot of time. Ah. Anyways, anyways. I guess I'm sort of forced into the chip. Uh, hopefully this has been entertaining and enjoyable to, enjoyable to watch, yes, and we are continuing in the next one. I think I'll still continue to play one for one more hour. I would like to wrap this up and uh, get the help of this uh, medicine man and uh, get that medicine for my, you know, Cousin, yes, to alleviate his pain, and then finally start our attack against <laughs> Telemir. Um, hmm. There's also, you know, Kurt's thing. Yes. So uh, I, I might. I might do that. I might help Kurt take revenge before we head over here. It's so many other things is like coming in between here. Like yeah, sh so sh sure, o okay, o oh you too, okay, mm -hmm. okay, we're going over here then, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just we're all over the place. Find the scholars expedition camp. Oh, come, come, come! This is uh, this is like um, Hikmet asked us to look into this. This is like bridge alliance stuff. We sort of we sort of went with uh, all this uh, the lame stuff, and we're just getting dragged in deeper. Uh, quests over here, over there, up there, down there. Oh, uh, and then. This happened, and I've, I'm like, you know, role playing wise, I'd like to, you know, help out my cousin before we do anything else. I don't want to start roaming the land and, like, ooh, oh, hi, cousin, oh, whoa, you're still alive? Jeez. <laughs> so, you know, we need to get this medicine for my cousin before we head out. And since I would like to get these personal quests. You know, done. Oh, there, there's also Petrus. You know, he found a use for. You know, the blackmailing stuff. I guess that's important as well, since I don't know how Petrus will react when, you know, all this goes down and Thelame starts to absolutely hate us. I don't, I don't think the suspicious thing is the lowest you can go. That's sp suspicious is like neutral. I I feel in this game, and when it goes down even further, I think I might be you know get, getting attacked on sight, so that might not be a good thing. So I'm I'm just gonna try and get some more dirt, or you know, you do um, Petrus's you know quest before we. Do the attack on Telemo. Yes, since I would like to get that done before he gets all butt hurt and leaves without us using the knowledge he has now to hurt the governess over here. 
Mm. Yeah, that's, that's the plan, that's my thinking. Anyways, anyways, this has gone on for too long. I'm gonna be ending it here. See you guys in the next one. See ya.